Well, hi guys uh, and ladies, I'm at Lord Camry Brewery. Um, it's based in Malta, well, it actually in Goza in Malta. And uh, they're a small microbrewery and they do, well, quite a lot of really good beer. Um, I've tasted, I will actually do some tastings later on. But I thought I'd just show you their setup. Um, it's a very small microbrewery setup. What they do, they, um, they generally ferment for a good while maybe three or four weeks they do the first and secondary fermentation and then they uh, do bottle conditioning as well which is really good but i'll show you the beers later on and i'll talk more about it when i come to it hello all um just carrying on from that little bit of an introduction at um, the lord uh chambry's um brewery i'm out in uh, malta at the moment uh, and lord chambry actually is um in an island above the main island of Malta called Goza. Um, uh, I went there yesterday, had a real nice chat, chat, not chat with people there, had a brewery trip, um, had a good look around, and they got to taste some of their beers. Um, just a bit of an outline of what they got there. They've got a, uh, they've got a kind of two tank system, and they've got, um, fermentation vessels and then they've got uh, conditioning vessels uh, so the process they use uh, obviously is to do a mash and a sparge then a boil with hops whatever um, they then do fermentation and uh, they've got that obviously steel class there and once they've finished fermentation they then put extra sugar in and then toss the lager into another tank which is a conditioning tank and they leave it conditioned there for about maybe another um obviously i think fermentation is about about a week and then they condition for another two weeks so it's uh, quite a strung out process once they have finished um doing doing the conditioning then they then bottle off into the, these uh, 33 milliliter bottles um and they recondition in the bottles and put the bottles laying down and they actually got their own rooms where they do con bottle conditioning and they lay all the bottles down like this inside a uh, inside big big um big crates and they leave them there for up to another four weeks then they obviously put them up right bottle them i think once they've been bottled already i think they're bottled and I don't think they've been labelled at that stage, so I think they fill them and then they uh, uh, finish off with the uh, labels at the end and then it gets shipped out. Um, so that's quite interesting to see. Um, the set of bids they've got a, there's a couple there who are from Italy and they moved, they actually live in, uh, live in um, Goza, um, so they're from Italy. And also there's the master brewer who actually lives in Italy at the moment, but he actually does come over to uh, go to go for nine days a month and uh, does basically booze all the beer for, for, for that month and goes away and uh, comes back when, um, comes back every every month, every few months or so. I think, I've actually got a bit of a, bit of a review, review which was in the, in the camera guide so if you do get the uh, camera magazine you might have actually seen it so yeah the as i said the, the bit the, the brewery is called um lord camry um they are very much obviously a craft beer brewery and they make um they make obviously the very hoppy styles and it's very modern and modern and forward um, they don't actually sell any of their beer in in casks I think there are one of, because most of the um, the breweries in uh, Malta have have actually got contracts with the main brewery which is here uh, which uh, they make their own lager I don't know the name of that company but they make their own lager and also make also clones of other beers things like Heineken and stuff on license as is normally actually is the case on most islands and most secluded areas. I can remember a few years ago I actually was in uh, Belize for about six months 
and I can remember the uh, brewery there, they actually made um, Guinness on license. So that happens. Um, but yeah, um, so yeah, just get to the beers and I'll explain a few of them. I've got a collection of them, all, of, of them here. Um, they generally have a, uh, uh, I think, five stand, no, four standard beers that they, they, they sell. They sell uh, this IPA, which is, I think it's in the American style. This is called uh, uh, San Blas. Now there is a theme to all these beers. This one is an island, well it's a bay in, in Zgoza. So I may have a taste of that in a second. No, I think I will taste this one here. The next one they've got is the Blue Lagoon. If you've ever been to Malta, you know what the Blue Lagoon, Lagoon is. It's a, a section of an island where the uh, sea level is quite low and uh, it's obviously got sand underneath. And so, because it's quite a, a quite shallow there, all the water goes by blue, which is quite beautiful. Um, look it up on Google. But anyway, there's Blue Lagoon. This is a, uh, it's a, I think it's a wheat. Let's have a look. Well, it says it's a, a, uh, a blanche craft beer, but I think that's a wheat that is. They've got a few uh, gold medals for that one there. Uh, the next one is uh, Gold Nail, that's Blonde Ale. Um, it's American style again. Which one is this? Yeah, well, come back, come back to this wheat. I think this wheat's made with uh, a kind of hefeweizen and a yeast combined with a, um, a Belgian yeast. And yep, a golden blade, um, which is just a blonde ale. And the last one, well, they've actually actually got another one, which is a, a bitter, which is a British bitter. And uh, they call that Sands Blount. No, no, it's called, it's just called Special Bitter. And that's made with British hops, and it's only about 3.8, which is nice and accessible. I, 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 haven't actually, I actually tried it yesterday, but I think, um, levels and it's obviously a good session beer but what what you get from it is obviously more or less what you've got here but at a lower level okay they they also every every month or so they have like a special beer they have on which is only on for that month and this one is the one it's called it's a goza they made it's called um uh, uh flinders rose and this one has got I'll just read the ingredients um, it's got it's got caper flowers, which are actually put in during the boiling. Um, it's got sea salt and local coriander, which is growing on the island. And yeah, and they say it's a sessional beer. So yeah, it's really quite quite interesting, really. Okay, so let's. I think also there's a another beer which I might have left out actually, and they do a another one which they call fungus uh, fungus rock, and that's a, a dry stout. Um, so they say here it's got a combined hoppiness, bitterness, or IPA with dark root, but hoisted malt. So what, what I found, I actually had a taste of it yesterday, and I found it quite. Um, it had the body of a stout, you know, it's just like edging onto the stout, but it wasn't like too overwhelming. So quite sessionable, really, really nice. Anyway, let's um, crack open one of these beers and have a little taste, and uh, I'll tell you any more news, should I need to have any news. I think this is going to be a kind of um, a Sunday kind of supplement, as uh, I think one, one of the other home brewers might say. Um, I think it's Black Dog Brewing. Check out that guy. Anyway, let's crack this beer open and have a look at it. So it looks like, uh, as I said, this is the one which is, um, uh, I think it's got, um, let's have a look. Ooh, blah, blah. Yeah, I think this is obviously a wheat beer, which has got a, uh, I think it's been, uh, it's got normal uh, Belgium, really. 
Jeez, and we better get some more of this water, right? And let's pour this beer out and see what it tastes like. I've had these beers lying on the side so they have, so I just bought them at White Gate, so they have got a little bit of, um, a bit of the yeast is actually in, in, in solution here. But let's have a quick smell. I'm actually smelling the sea, I think. I think, um, so it smells a bit, I think they, they've actually got orange peel and coriander in this, so yeah. Okay, it's a good taste. Mm. So it's quite nice, it's got the, the flavour that you would get in a, in a Hefeweizen or a wheat beer. Then the, the orange flavour is coming out. Um, obviously the coriander's there. Um, it's um, I even think there might be a little bit of a fishy flavour there, I'm not sure. Not I say fishy, kind of like an oystery, salty sea, sea flavour that you might actually have sometimes. Anyway, I'm terrible with reviews. I think, um, but anyway, I've drank quite a lot of beers and this Sunday stuff, it's, it's been really good. I think I um, uh, enjoyed my day out there and if you're in the area, or in, in um, you know, this way in Malta, um, just come out and uh, say hi for me. I think um, I, I think they've got a website and they generally do uh, brewery trips every few weeks, well every weekend, you know, every week. And uh, if you just send an email, they will um, book you a visit. So anyway, what's other news? Um, I think apart from this this brewery, and most of the beer is just kind of lager over here, and obviously the stuff what's been brewed on license. Um, um, yeah, I've just been relaxing, nice and warm out here, normally about 25 degrees out, out in the sun. It's obviously the days a little shorter, but uh, it's been a nice change to get away from all the um, all the damp and cold back in the UK. But back on Wednesday, and uh, hopefully this will um, put a slight spring ice step for the next few months until uh, the sun comes up again. Anyway, guys, uh, cheers. Uh, have a good week, maybe see you in about a week and a half for the next Homebrew Wednesday. Uh, and I don't know whether we're going to have any home, homebrews, any, uh, any brew days plans, but um, yeah, cheers.